How to replace and bleed your brake fluid. You're going to need an empty and dry bottle that has a top. Now get tubing thick enough to fit on the bleed valve. Now, of course, you need brake fluid, something to hold the old brake fluid, and a way to remove the brake fluid from the master cylinder. I used a turkey baste. Now screw off the top of the master cylinder. Now you can remove the old brake fluid. I've done my best to try to remove all of the old brake fluid, but as you can see, there is a little bit left. This should be fine as long as you don't have any other contaminants in your master cylinder. If you do, then you're going to need to disconnect all the cords and cables and take out the master cylinder to be washed. Now that I've removed all of the brake fluid, I'll fill up the master cylinder and put the top, but don't put it on all the way, as you need it to vent like that. Now go to the brake system that's the furthest away from the master cylinder. In my case, it's my rear brake. Now grab a wrench or something to loosen this nut right here. Now you can put the hose on the bleeder valve and start pumping the brakes. Now you can do the brake line that's the second closest to the master cylinder. In my case, it's the front right brake line. Now you can move to the front left brake line. And finally, you can replace the lid on the master cylinder. And that's